good morning guys so in today's video i want you to follow me on because i'm gonna pay an affidavit of support fee that's a real case you're gonna follow me so that's real so i'm just as you can see it's on google so i just type controller let me show you <laughs> it's controller electronic electronic application excuse me application center i, I already heard this controller electronic application center I, I can click on it okay i click on it so which mean you can go directly on your browser and you type http c e a c that state that gov slash c e a c you can type it like that so since i'm gonna pay the fee so i click on fee payment okay but remember uh normally it's it i will advise you first of all to fill out the online choice of agent okay why like i told you before because once you fill the online choice of agent uh, the NVC will be able to communicate with you via your your email so whatever the thing they need they will just send you an email and you will so it will be faster instead of sending you paperwork uh, uh, me instead of mailing you paperwork they will just send you an email so that you are informed what to do for the next step so right now I'm gonna pay the the affidavit of support fee because I received the invoice that's another thing you can't pay the affidavit of spot fee if first of all you have to receive an an, an invoice number with the case number from the NVC okay so if you don't have any invoice number or case number you should call the NVC asking if your case is ready and they will send you an invoice number so let me click on fee payment I click on fee payment okay so now I'm gonna just tap case number and click continue okay I'm gonna tap the case number so I'm gonna put this on pause to tap the case number so as you can see I already tapped the, my case number I just don't want you to see it I'm just gonna click on continue for the next screen okay so the next screen they give me space to put the invoice number so since this person which is next to me I'm helping her so she's actually the petitioner the petitioner is the person that means the permanent resident or the US citizen you know that is requesting the benefit for his or her family member or relative whatever so we, we click petitioner so I have to tap the invoice number as well as these this this character this character I'm gonna tap them here and click continue so let me tap the invoice number so understand you need case number and invoice number to pay the affidavit of support fee so I already tap my case number my invoice number and the person is the petitioner and I just have that this is for security just to make sure that you're not a robot and then you're gonna click on continue to have a new window okay so let me click on the new window I'm gonna click on the new window to see what's gonna happen so when I click on continue I got this next window as you can see we got at the top the case number I just don't want you to see it and the visa class they say the case is currently at NVC and that's the foreign country it's Haiti so as we can see we have like uh, three applications choice of address and agent so they say we need to study that these applications so you need to choose an agent that's really important so in this video I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna do uh, at the same time I'm gonna pay the affidavit or support this part and after that I'm gonna fill out this part too okay but normally you should uh, first of all start this application so you are the petitioner you can choose you don't need really a, law, a lawyer if you understand it you can choose to be the agent that's gonna handle the case they will 
you just need some information your 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 email stuff like that so first of all let me pay i'm gonna pay the affidavit of support fee okay so that's really straightforward so i just don't want you to see it here it's the petitioner here it's the principal uh, applicant okay so understand a you can't pay the visa right now because you don't have the invoice for the visa so after you pay everything after you fill out you know this application for agent you will need to wait for a couple of weeks they will send you confirmation that the choice of agent has been accepted stuff like that and then they will send you a new invoice that's going to be a new invoice okay you can't pay this is for the visa okay application for the visa you need to pay first but you can't even pay after paying you're gonna wait to for so I'm not talking about the visa right let's talk about the affidavit of support that's what we are doing now we're doing two things right now affidavit of support fee and online choice of agent okay I got other video I would I would do another video uh, how to fill out the visa paying the visa first okay let's talk about the affidavit of support so I'm gonna click here on pay okay I'm gonna have another window I understand every time I click I have to pause because I just don't want you to see some information so if I let the window pop up you're gonna see some you know some personal information so that's why I just put it on pause before clicking on pay now okay let me put it on pause and I'm gonna click it's just gonna pop up another window to pay the affidavit of support so once I click on pay now I got this part so I have to select because this is the affidavit of support fee okay so so understand once you pay it's gonna take some time it's generally between two two and two business day you know to process the payment okay before they can withdraw the money from your bank account please don't remove this money because it's not gonna you know one time just get it from your bank it's gonna take some time so so if you if you got money on your bank account you need to let it for at least two and three days okay so because once we pay here it's gonna stay in process okay because they're gonna for just gonna uh, the system gonna follow up to your bank to get the gen, gen, as you can see it's hundred twenty dollars for the affidavit of support fee so let me click on I select this okay so the fee okay and then I need to click pay selected fee okay pay selected fee I'm paying the affidavit of support fee Okay, I'm gonna click first. I need to take a pause because I just don't want you to show example the invoice case number or petitioner name stuff like that. Once I click on pay selected fee, I got this new page. So basically, it's billing information, which means you might use another person if you don't have money. You might use another person, you know, bank account to pay because you're paying. So billing information is straightforward. So first first name last name if it's you it's gonna be your first name and your last name so your email so they don't need you know the the, the 16 digit number from your debit or credit card they need routine number and then as we can see uh, uh, they also need you see account number okay routine number account number and then they will need you to to, to so routine number routine number normally if you see your book check okay you got the routine number generally when do when you're doing direct deposit they ask for routine number account number okay that's the way to pay so as you can see they they're asking for routine number account number that you need to tap here tap here twice you need to select if it is your uh, general is not business if it's the case you will put it okay most of the time it's gonna be your personal checking or your personal saving that you're gonna use but either way you need to choose and then you routine number account number just twice just to be sure that's the real account number and then you need to click you agree the agreement you check this and then lastly uh, as we can see on your right you need to click make payment that's straightforward so what we're gonna do here we're just gonna fill out all the information so like I told you you know 
email uh, you don't have a business you just let the bank you know first name last name stuff like that and then that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna fill out all the space okay so what I did I fill out this form first name last name the email you need an email so they can send you a confirmation OT number account number twice you need to put it twice this was a personal checking so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna check you know there is what they ask for if you agree, agree that means authorization you know uh, you will need you need to check you know I agree below and then click submit payment so just click here your agreement and then you click make payment that's it you don't if it's it's all the information account number routine number correct that's mean the first name and the last name is the person is correct and then that's gonna be okay okay let's click make payment to see if it's work so once you click on pay pay a payment so what you got they just tell you thank you that uh, your request to pay the state department from your has been submitted so basically what they did just submit it's gonna take you know a couple of days you know to process the payment so so they give you the tracking ID stuff like that and then you said so but uh, I think it's a the last step you, you need your invoice that's a proof that you pay so you just go down just go down to click to see the the you know the risk the proof that you pay you know proof of payment you never know you know you better get it so just let me show you where it is so when you go down there you just click here to continue to visit so the receipt is what you need to keep it if there is something go wrong you can give your receipt number that the proof that you will pay okay you just click to continue to receipt so that basically you know that your receipt you can just click here to print the invoice or take a picture of it and pay your example pay your ID transactions ID you can write it down so basically as you can see you know a payment status in process that means they are processing it so basically you need to wait for like you know one or two weeks you know in order for them to process it so like I told you um, it's better to we can just say it's better to go back okay you can go to the home page to fill out the online choice of agent because that really make thing easier for you and national visa center so whenever they need something they will just send you an email so you can click on finish so we are done basically with the affidavit support fee okay let's go do the online choice of agent because that's really important you really need to do it so that's the that's the way you're gonna communicate to the national visa center okay let me click on finish and I'm gonna go back to to fill out the online choice of agent okay that's gonna most of it so most of the time it's gonna be you you the petitioner you can choose you gonna put your name your email so like that okay so we are done with the affidavit of support so okay let's click on finish once we click on finish we they ask us what we want to do do we want to make another payment the other payment is for the visa you didn't have any invoice yet for the visa you cannot pay the visa so I'm gonna click on back to summary you know to fill out the online choice of agents okay that's what I'm gonna do okay so let's click on back to summary when I click on back to summary they ask me more on more time to fill out the case number the invoice number sometimes they just let you go back to the summary but uh, sometimes for some for security reason if you stay too long they will ask you one more time to enter the case number as well as the invoice number that's what I'm gonna do so the second step what I'm gonna do right now is the online choice of agent so what I did I just entered the case number the invoice petitioner the security character and then I click on continue that's me in order to log in one more time so what I'm gonna do now it's the online choice of agent the D1261 okay let's click on continue so as you can see the affidavit of support fee it's in process because I just paid it's actually it's, it's processing what I'm gonna do because that really important is start the 
agent or choice of address and agent the DS 261 I'm going to click on start application okay so the first page for the online choice of address and agent so be basically asking you to certify that you will really understand you know all the information above you just need to click that you certify okay and then you will need to click continue so after certification you got this page so this is about not about you the, the agent but it's about the applicant you know and you can erase this because the applicant is really it's really on fire you know so basically they are asking you right, to enter the the email of the applicant uh, so I understand some some applicants since they are living overseas sometimes they don't even have email so so it if the applicant don't have email but you are a family member you are a petitioner it's better to just put your your email here okay because this is about the applicant not the, about the petitioner okay so let's just put it here I just don't want you to see those the, the the email I just don't want you to see them like I told you the the petitioner may use his email if the applicant don't have any email okay and then you click uh, have you already legally immigrated in the United States most of the time it's gonna be no because you are filing because I understand basically they should be fill out by the applicant but we know the problem most of the time the applicant is of C and then sometimes they don't even know how to use you know online stuff like that so they say do you wish to appoint an agent the question is like they are asking the applicant if you want to appoint someone a third party to communicate so most of the time it's gonna it's gonna be you the petitioner you can be like I told you your home agent you're gonna click yes okay so now you're gonna provide information about the agent which is most of the time can be you you are the petitioner you're gonna put here your last name your information the mailing address so that they can communicate with you okay but you can this is about the applicant so most of the time I say it's gonna be no most of the time the person is not in USA but if the person is in USA you put yes okay and then do you wish to appoint agent you you click yes okay. so this part is about the agent that him the third person that's gonna handle the case that means they will send all the requests to you uh, which is gonna be in this case most of the time the petitioner because you want to and to manage all your stuff you don't want a lawyer or if it's a third person that the way it's gonna it's gonna work okay so agent a, a last name a first name address that's straightforward CD you know phone number and then what you're gonna say you're just gonna click on review review the last step to review but it's really straightforward let me fill this out so what we did we just fill out this is really important information about the agent most importantly it's the agent email address because they're gonna use the email you know to send communication to the agent whatever paper they need to you to submit they will send it you know online uh, to your email okay so that's really important the email so that's the agent which can be the petitioner okay so and then you click on review you're almost done so once you click on review so you just want you to double check and then the final step is sign and submit so one more thing to mention I understand about the email address of the applicant I understand sometimes the applicant don't have email but if you are a petitioner you want to use your email you can't just put your email here and then again here put the same email here it's not gonna work okay the system gonna give so you can't put the same email for the applicant and the, your email so so you're gonna use email from another family member for the, for the applicant if the applicant don't have any email address but most important it's your you are the petitioner I'm talking the agent has got the the email you provide that's really important okay so 
basically once you are done with this you're just gonna click on submit right here okay let me show you so you're just gonna click here on submit sign and submit okay let's click on sign and submit so once you click on sign and submit you just want to ask a question if someone help you most of the time it's gonna if you're watching this video you want to do it by yourself it's gonna be no you did it by yourself and then you're gonna put the security code the security code which can be defined okay and then sign submit you're gonna have the confirmation once you click on sign submit there it is they told you here that you successfully signed and submit your online the ds261 the online that was been successfully signed and submit and then you click the confirmation view. you cannot make any change here just click next for confirmation well done that's the confirmation you have nothing to do you can decide to print you know your confirmation so wait for a couple of weeks they will send you email con for confirmation telling you that the choice of address and agent has been accepted and then telling you also uh, you know the the invoice uh, for the affidavit of, affidavit of, su of support has been processed so that means a couple of more weeks one two weeks they will send you another invoice to pay the the visa you know the the visa it's right now as a as of 2017 325 dollars first of all you're gonna have to pay the visa and then fill out the visa application and the last step as you as you know is to mail all the paperwork i'm talking about affidavit of support you know if you have additional civil document passport stuff like that you need to mail them okay that's the way it is okay so uh i, I have on my website i'm gonna do a new video you know on how to uh how to fill out you know the the visa okay that's gonna be the next step but you can decide by yourself to just pay the visa you would need to wait for the invoice okay guys subscribe to my channel and then i'm here to help you okay if you can't you can just i got the link you know uh, if you need more video like that so that i can have more time if you want you can just click on it if you need to give some donation okay take care of yourself